This is really life changing. Honestly, I'm not a reader and I didn't want to sound like textbook. It's really made a big change in my life. I'm living proof. This is real. So welcome to my YouTube channel, Daniel. How you feel? Um, I'm doing good. Thank Great. You. So can you explain a little bit about yourself, who you are? Yeah, uh, sure. So um, uh, my name is Daniel. Uh, I was born in Okinawa, Japan, uh, but I grew up in America. It's until I was around 20, I decided to come back to Okinawa. I, I went to Ryukyu University for just a short while, maybe uh, four months to try to start learning Japanese uh, when I was 20. And uh, at that time, I didn't understand anything at all. Um, so I had to learn from the very basics, uh, just A-I-U-E-O, the alphabet, basically, and then uh, katakana, hiragana, and um, just the regular day-to-day -day words. But uh, after that, I actually did not um, continue studying. I just went straight to work. So um, I've been here in Okinawa for about 15 years. Uh, I currently work with the U.S. government as a contractor, um, and uh, I've been married for about 12, thir almost 13 years now. Uh, my wife is uh, half Japanese, half American, so we, we speak English at home. It's just a lot easier. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then uh, myself, I'm half Japanese and half American as well. My mom's Okinawan, and my dad was a Marine that was stationed here in Okinawa. When I started going to elementary school, um, I spoke Japanese with my mom, uh, fairly mostly Japanese. And then um, I, I was really falling behind in school. Mm. I couldn't mm. learn my ABCs. Okay. Uh, I had to do, um, I did five years of ESL, like English second language type private lessons. Mm. Yeah, so about six to 11 ish. Yeah, I was taking ESL. Um, and uh, because I couldn't do my R's, my L's, my S's, you know, the typical Asian, uh, you know. Accent. Yeah, the accent, I, it was very heavy. So uh, I, I got rid of all of that. Uh, but unfortunately, because of that, she cut Japanese. And uh, unfortunately, I, I, I forgot everything. So can you share with me, like, what you have done till now before finding out our Japan language factory? Okay, yeah. So I lived in America from 1 to 20. And um, so I only spoke Japanese because my mom didn't speak English very well when we mm. first moved to America. Mm. But when I came back here at 20, got into UQ University, and then... Um, I utilized the the books there, which was uh, Minna no Nihongo. Yeah. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So just, yeah, I used that book. And uh, then I tried a couple other books like uh, Japanese for busy people. Mm. Uh, and honestly, I'm not a reader. I'm, I'm so glad we have the technology now. I can just swipe and <laughs> it, you know, it reads to me. So when I was younger, we didn't have that. So you'd have to pick up a book and I would just get so bored. You know, I wasn't interested. I want to be able to communicate. I want to go out to an izakaya or to a restaurant and be able to make friends, you know, ask questions about how's their day? What are they doing nowadays? You know, what's your dreams? And, uh, you know, make friends. That's that's something I like to do. I'm kind of I like I'm a people person, I guess you could say. And uh, I, I never was able to do that confidently. And uh, I can do it in English all day long, no problem. But I wanted to do that in Japanese. That's why I started searching and I came across your program. And it's, it's really made a big change in my day-to-day -day life now. I can, mm -hmm. I can take phone calls now. I, I, I'm not afraid to pick up the phone when someone calls me from either the city office or something else, you know. Um, I don't pass the phone to my wife anymore. And sometimes she says, yeah, why don't you call and make the reservation? And I said, like, okay, yeah. So it's it's been fun. It's been challenging, but uh, I've learned a lot and 
definitely the the major thing is my my confidence has skyrocketed when it comes to speaking Japanese. Yeah. For your case with us in Japan Language Factory, like how exactly change in a so short period because you just found us was uh two months ago, right? Yes. And like it's mm -hmm. just people can't understand how you're gonna change your mindset or like even feeling or confidence in the so short time period. Yeah, so that's mm -hmm. why can you like describe how you change how you felt this just the two months in a really short period? I knew that looking at a book was not for me. Yeah, it's just some people, it's just not for them, you know? And I didn't want to sound like a textbook either because there is a proper way to speak. And there's different levels of being able to speak politely. And then also just with your friends, there's different ways to speak Japanese. And I didn't want to sound like, you know, a textbook. And then sometimes even in the textbook, it's a little yeah. weird, you know, yeah. <laughs> uh, when you're trying to talk and have conversation, you say something that's so uh, textbooky. Is grammatically perfect? You know, maybe yeah. pronunciation perfect. Something, it sounds really textbook, right? <laughs> exactly. And that's what's helped me a lot, too, is because uh, my teacher, you know, my sensei has been uh, uh, Shono-san, and she's excellent, excellent. And, uh, you know, being able to uh, hear her speak the, the, the sentence, okay, let's say if, if she says, hey, you know, what, what is it that you'd like to ask somebody today? or tomorrow you know what kind of question would you like to ask and I'll, I'll say something in English and then she'll say okay well let's let's put it like this in Japanese and then she'll speak it and I'll repeat it and then eventually it's it's flowing right and then I sound more native uh, instead of choppy or broken you know uh, when I did textbook you know looking at books I try to memorize words but I still didn't know how to put in a like flow in a, to a sentence and it was just so choppy I, I guess you could say like broken English but I think it was probably worse in Japanese than broken English so, <laughs> uh, so being able to hear it and then also go back to the recording and listen to her say it uh, really really made a big difference uh, that that was huge now you actually feel more sounds native you feel it right by yourself and then yes. what well, how do you feel in general with this life yeah one of the things that i've i've noticed is um uh like i say my my confidence level has gone up uh i, I speak japanese more uh at home uh and then now my wife you know of course she'll like kind of correct me a little bit uh here and there but before i would be so embarrassed that uh, i wouldn't speak and i think that's one of the main problems that uh uh, people have is they they get uh, embarrassed and they think that okay uh, I'll never be able to learn this and they start thinking negative and that's exactly what I did I, I was like you know I live in Japan I can't speak every time I try I make so many mistakes you know so I'm I'm just gonna get by with what I what I know and I think a lot of people just uh, stay in stagnant you know stay in that state and but it's it's really another thing that you guys teach you know mindset you got to change your mindset you have to go out there you, you got to speak if you don't speak you won't you won't be able to speak it's it's really that simple so you have to try to talk and that's another thing that i love about uh, what you guys do is you know we also have the group sessions so i was able to get on some of those as well and just you know speaking that was the key I, I can't believe it, really, honestly. It's it's just getting out there and speaking and and trying and making mistakes and understanding, hey, you're going to make a mistake here and there, but you're talking, you're communicating, rather than just being behind a book and just thinking, oh, I'll, I'll never be able to make this or, or do this, you know? So that was really the big change. And uh, again, uh, I'm I'm so happy that, I can communicate more effectively. It's not our learning structure only. It's your effort. You really change your mindset. It's definitely your effort. That's why I really want to say congratulations that you really change your mindset. 
はい、ありがとうございます。素晴らしい。いや、ありがとうございます。So, like, a, can you tell me, like, what is actually the some story? Maybe you have here some reaction from Japanese when you speak a little more Jap- native Japanese and people change their reaction. Can you share? Yeah, so, um, uh, so my, my mother in law, I started speaking more. Uh, at dinner time and things like that. And she would be around and I, I would try to say different things. And over the last, I think, three or four weeks, she's she said it a few times like, wow, your Japanese has really improved. And then、um, even some some of my friends that I know、um, that are a little older than me,、um, you know, sometimes I'll go out and we'll go out to to have dinner or something. And then I, I try to speak more, you know, and they're like, wow, you know, I, I, I didn't know you had that in you. And, <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, even, even this last two months, let's say,、uh, I've been able to go out and、uh, meet some more people. And I've, I have more Japanese friends or acquaintances now in the last four or five weeks just because I'm trying to speak than I have in 15 years. In Japan, <laughs> you know, so now I have people's <laughs> phone numbers. I have they're text, texting me, we're, we're talking time to time. At my work, there's not a lot of people that speak Japanese.、Um, we're mostly Americans working with the government. And,、uh, but we have Japanese counterparts, you know, that we work with the local government and things like that. Well, I have a project that was, it's very important. It's at like a critical time to take care of something. And We don't have a translator, you know. Uh, so uh, I was requested to set up a meeting. And、uh, this was about two weeks ago. And I went to the meeting. It was just me and another American, and then three Japanese people from the local government. And because of the help that I had from my teacher, Shono san,、uh, she was helping. She was able to give me some structure and say, Hey, what would you like to talk about during that meeting? And I say, Oh,、uh, this, this, and that. I was able to memorize very key words and say them with confidence. And I had almost an hour long meeting and totally in Japanese. And I was the, I was the, spe- the tra- translator basically between the guy next to me and the Japanese uh, uh, local workers. And when I left there, I was like, wow, this, this is really life changing. I am so, you know, I'm not, I, I'm not trying to be proud or nothing, but I'm so proud of myself that I took the effort and took the leap to, to start this program with you guys because it's made a huge difference. Huge.、Ah, I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> That's so amazing. It's like, you know, it's just that people can't believe you, you know, unfortunately.、Yeah. <laughs> it's just 15 years, less confidence. Two months later, you're actually going to do this business meeting for one hour, only、yeah. Japanese. Only Japanese. That's、yeah. so crazy. Yeah, and we were talking about technical things like uh, uh, engineering stuff and.、Uh, There's a lot of words that I, I didn't know before, and、uh, I, didn't ha- I didn't have any understanding of how to put it together. But because of my teacher and because of your program, I was able to, to, to memorize it by listening to it and speaking it. And it just flowed in the meeting, like just came out. And then they would ask questions in Japanese. And I was like, wow, I understand what they're saying. I was able to. You know, dandori, you know, just back and forth, a、uh, catch ball, I guess you could say,、mm. you know, communicate. And uh, uh, it, it was really eye opening for me. And then the, the guy next to me, he's like, wow, your, your Japanese is really good. You know, of course, he, he doesn't speak Japanese very well, <laughs> but he, he was shocked. I was like, yeah, I know, I know a program, man. <laughs> like, I know something that you need to get hooked up with, and, and it can help you too, yeah. So, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah.、Um, right now, you have really confidence speaking Japanese and English both. If you pick up one difference in 
they are, you know, in our life, you know, what is the difference is like speaking only English or speaking Japanese and English, both. If you pick up one huge difference, what are you going to pick up? Well, um, when, when you're bilingual, a lot of different opportunities open. So I've had, through the 15 years living here, I've had many opportunities to do different types of, uh, I, I like to invest. I like, I like business stuff. You know, those are kind of like my hobbies. I, I like stuff like that. So I've always had these opportunities, but because I couldn't speak, I always had to turn them down. And there's there's really great people that I'm sure I could have become good friends with. And uh, I missed out, you know, all these years. Uh, I'm really big into cars. Like my hobby is cars, basically. Uh, I love sports cars, Japanese JDM cars. I've had I've had my share of cars. And uh, so now that I'm speaking, I can go out to the car car groups or get togethers. I can make friends. And that actually happened. You know, I was able to go out and uh, I, I met a guy that owns a car shop out here and uh, he's pretty famous. So a lot of people know him because he's got some really cool old cars. And he's like, I, I went up to him and say, oh, you're you're so and so. And he knows a little bit of English. And then uh, we just kind of started communicating a little bit. And now he's like, hey, you know, uh, I need somebody that can can order some parts for me, you know, uh, for my cars. Would you be interested? So now there's a whole new opportunity in there that that's there for me that because I can communicate, uh, I may be able to import parts, you know, for for this gentleman or something like that. So I don't know where it will go, but opportunities open when you're bilingual. It's it's so true. If you give one advice to the people who never really believe that they can do it, they can really speak Japanese in their life. Um, I, what is actually the message to them? Well, easy message would be if I can do it, you can do it. But if you believe in yourself that and and you and you're willing to try, you can do it absolutely it's a mental thing i i just i was i put up a mental block for 15 years and when i'd made the decision that i wanted to speak it changed and that's that's simply put you know i made a decision for change and because of that and how they teach you know it's it's allowed me to uh, become more like the person that I've always wanted to be. So it, you can absolutely do it. You just got to take the jump, take the leap, do it for two months. You will see a drastic change. Yeah, I'm I'm living proof. So if, if anybody watches this and uh, you want to reach out to me and you want to hear me speak Japanese, I'll speak Japanese, you know? <laughs> so uh, if you speak Japanese and you want to contact me, this is fine too. You know, just to to show that, look, uh, this is real, and and I, I'm I'm so so grateful for this program. So thank you so much, Tadamisan. Are you expat living in Japan? You started living in Japan. You are super excited to communicate with locals. You can enjoy traveling, meeting people, and now you start using this textbook, and you feel like, wow, that's so many elementary school textbook. Another elementary school textbook and How many hours should you study? Let's think one more time. In order to communicate like a normal guy, you can do everything in the basic everyday life. Should you finish all those textbooks, otherwise you won't understand what they're talking, you cannot express yourself, anything? First of all, there are always two ways to learn languages. One is documentational language. The other one is conversational language. It's like, you know, once upon a time, grandmother and grandfather are living somewhere, somewhere. Or, hey, what's up? How's it going? Which is conversational. What is the most effective way to learn how to speak Japanese? Textbooks can't talk to you. 
So you cannot improve your listening skill and pronunciation how to communicate. So why Japanese children can speak Japanese so quickly? Because they are learning conversational Japanese. The good news is, in Japan Language Factory, we have a specific learning structure to improve your conversational Japanese. So you can join the conversation, you can understand what they're talking, you can respond quickly and express what you are thinking. If you want to be able to speak Japanese as soon as possible, join our free consultation to figure out what is the fastest way to start speaking Japanese.